Hi Capricorn, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, in that spread we'll see whom you were dealing with and who left whom and why. In the second, the advice spread, we'll see what's recommended for you in this situation. And then in spread number three, the new love spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Capricorn, so here's the situation. We have the lovers, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords, clarified by the uh, Six of Swords and the, the Queen of Swords, and we also have the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with an um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or any zodiac sign. Well, it's a very simple reading, Capricorn. All three cards that originally came out before I started clarifying, all of three of them could be interpreted as, as a card of a choice. Every single one of them could be interpreted as a choice card, right? The lovers, one of the interpretation is a choice card, the six of pentacles. In the middle, if you take a clo closer look at the six of pentacles, there's a person standing up, standing in the middle, and they're choosing between two people. And the two of swords is also a crossroads card. So I would just have to assume somebody here chose someone else over you. Or if this was somebody you were already in a relationship with, they chose to leave you behind and actually move towards this Queen of Swords. Or if you were dealing with uh, an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, they chose to leave you, right? So yeah, they, the Queen of Swords, that's definitely not you. Definitely not you, Capricorn. This was either um, the person who left you or it could be the person they left you for. I hope that makes sense. You could have been dealing with a Gemini, the Lovers is a Gemini card, but it is a choice card, right? The Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody who feels left out in the cold. This is a card of somebody feeling lonely and uh, all that bad stuff. And that's the way unfortunately you are feeling because uh, they either left you behind or they chose somebody else over you. Right, so yeah, a very straightforward reading. The Six of Swords, I don't know if I mentioned this is them moving on or moving forward. Okay. Um, but uh, let's take a look at the advice spread anyway. All right, Capricorn, so here's spread number two. This was supposed to be the advice spread, but to be honest with you, it's actually even worse than the first spread. In this spread, we see you going through it. So I think from the advice perspective, the advice for you is to, you know, Start the healing process, I guess. Uh, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the, the Tower, and the uh, Death. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. But both the Tower and the Death cards, in this case, pretty much talk about this connection coming to an end. Perhaps you had your hopes set really high for this person, but uh, it unfortunately wasn't meant to be. Right? Then the Nine of Swords, the first card I came out, I think that's you going through it. This is a card of somebody who can't sleep at night, somebody who cries themselves to sleep every night. This is a card of depression, anxieties, and all that stuff. The Ten of Wands in the middle is a card of a burden, so obviously it is taking a huge toll on you. Um, it's not worth it, Capricorn. It's not. You know, it, it's just not. I don't know how else to put it, to be honest with you. This is a pretty devastating spread. Okay? So I'm not going to spend any more time on this. This is very, very sad. Anyway, let's move on to spread number three instead. Spread number three is new love coming towards you in the near future. Capricorn here, spread number three. This is new love coming towards you in the near future. We have the Hierophant, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn. So the very first card I came out is the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant could be a Taurus that's coming into your life. But the Hierophant is... Um, a spiritual, religious card, it could be a card of education, right? So if you are religious, you could be meeting this person through your religion, at a church, temple, synagogue, what have you. Um, you could be meeting this person through school, or say you want to learn something spiritual, right? And uh, perhaps you're going to take a class, and that's how you could be meeting this person, right? Because the Page of Cups, I find the Page, uh, the, <laughs> the Hierophant, this is a card of somebody who is going to invite you out on a date. And again, it's going to happen through the Hierophant, right? School, 
church, synagogue, temple, um, or a class, a spiritual class that you'll be taking. Right? Um, the Queen of Pentacles in the middle, I think that's you. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And I think it's going to be a very straightforward, very um, honest, very direct connection and a conversation that follows, right? The Ace of Swords, the next card over, this is a card of a brand new beginning. This is a card of clarity. This is a card of um, a very straightforward, direct conversation that you will have. Or perhaps um, you will tell them that uh, you're not looking to just play around. You're looking for something serious, something committed, because that, that's what the Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Ace of Swords is all about, right? So some of you could be meeting this person through your, you know, religion, right? And uh, <laughs> that's how people. That's how, that's how a lot of people meet. That's how a lot of people still meet their, their, their the, the love of their lives, right? Uh, it still is. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment or marriage, and uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of uh, two people feeling the same way, two people are, who are on the same page. You know, this is a very, you never know, it starts with the Page of Cups, clarifying the Hierophant, but this is a very serious, very deep spread, right? <laughs> the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, but at the same time, it's still very loving with the Two of Cups, all right? So that's how I think you're going to be meeting this person, and that could be the person you'll be marrying. Because, yeah, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, those are some serious cards, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I have for you, Capricorn, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing November.